the sunshine is going to be very very soon on our our spot so i want to hurry up and show you what i am working on today i am very excited to finally being able to uh, plant this little spot right here these boxwoods uh, don't let them fool you i had a huge huge container here the one that i used carry away i had it leaning for the whole winter i had it leaning against here and it was pushing these boxwoods away i don't know why i didn't remove it but this this boxwoods will be fine I gave them a nice pruning because they really needed it. With some of the rain that we have been getting here in central Indiana, they just exploded in growth. But the two main things that I am going to be planting in here are two things that I started from seed. One is my coleus. It is my gorgeous, gorgeous coleus. I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember it right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I know, I know that these guys just need to be planted the root system looks amazing they are gorgeous so i have i am going to be using three of these coleus and i am also going to be using a few of these dahlias that i started from seed this is the first year that i start dahlias this way look at the root system my goodness they are definitely ready to be planted so i have a bunch of a bunch of them here and i also have a bunch back there where i have all of my seedlings just waiting and uh, I am going to plant this all over here. Hopefully, hopefully this area with the very limited amount of sun that it gets, hopefully these guys will bloom perfect. This area is on the east side of my house, but it's also in between the neighbor's house as well. So it only gets sun from like this much of the day. It gets sun about, I don't know, maybe nine-ish until maybe two ish i'm not really sure i haven't really checked it gets plenty of sun but not for a long time we'll see hopefully they will do great if not that's fine too uh, i'll have a lot of foliage but let me show you what i'm really excited to put on this round container this is the ovalis that i want to put in here in the center of this round container that i have here and by the way what i have here is basically a bunch of papers underneath it and i have a huge huge black container that i got at lowe's that i already had holes and i make a few extras and i just put fresh potting mix in there so this is the item that is going to be the focal point of this bed and i'm really really excited and if you're wondering where do you buy this give us the link guys i don't have the link i make this and i actually got inspired about three years ago from laura of garden answer she made a tutorial on how to use quilting hoops these are quilting hoops that have been painted and this is just like a doorknob that i thought looked really cool on top she has a whole tutorial about how to make this these are like super super cheap and i am really actually really surprised that they had been holding up in my garage for these last three or four years and I make two of them, two of this size and two of a smaller size. And I price these guys like the real thing, the metal thing. And I was definitely not ready to spend that much money on something that is just decoration. But I am, what I'm going to do, because this thing is really light, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to dig a little bit deeper in the soil. I am going to use some garden staples and then I'm going to secure them completely before I start planting everything out. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this guy will make a beautiful, a beautiful arrangement at the end of the, the season. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think that it looks really, really good. And I only put four dahlias in there because I'm not really sure how tall they will get or how big. So I just want to make sure that the plants are not fighting for, for nutrients or anything else. And I'm going to add a little bit of mulch and hopefully in a couple of months I can give an update on how they look like here. goodness I am working hard today I mean I'm always working outside but I feel like today is just you know <sighs> okay so I am going to show you what plants I am uh, putting here and it's going to be the same on the other planter it's just the other planter it's already on the Sun and it's yeah so basically I am going to grow on these gorgeous gorgeous trellis by the way that I found at Menards lovely pieces um, I am going to grow a tomato. It doesn't matter, a heirloom tomato. This one is pink jazz. I'll probably put some sugar on the other side because some sugar are my favorite cherry tomatoes. Um, but I have pink jazz here. And I am going to add one plant of Kilimanjaro marigolds. These are the double white marigolds. They kind of grow taller than your normal marigolds. So that's going to be right there. And on the rest of the planters, 
I have these older nasturtium seeds from two years ago that I really, really wanna use before they go bad. So I have a combination of black velvet, Bloody Mary and out of Africa nasturtiums and I'm just going to pretty much place uh, a few seeds here and there I'll probably leave I don't know um, three or four plants if they all if they all germinate so I am going to be using regular fertilizer I already had this one uh, from Dr. Earth I really love Dr. Earth because it's something um, that I can find easily in at any of my local stores and I love it because it's organic too so so I am going to quickly plant these guys right here. Hopefully we'll get some harvest. By the way, did you guys see my new knife from um, Hostlink USA? They started carrying those, so you bet I'm going to be using them. So I'll probably go on the back of the trellis. And by the way, this is the potting mix that I put here last year in the fall when I planted all of my daffo daffodil bulbs that brought it in here. So this is beautiful, beautiful um, potting mix and I am not changing or adding anything. There we go. Whoa, look at that. These guys definitely needed to be planted. And I did pinch this guy, so he is good. I am going to leave this here so that I can come back in a minute and make some labels for them. Because if not, I'm going to forget about it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that I leave enough for the other side. One, two, three. And like I said, these are older seeds, so that's why I'm kind of going overkill here. Okay, and I just gotta make sure that I have these guys water so that they can germinate. And that's it, you guys. I am going to add a little bit of water here. I am going to label my plants so that I don't forget which type of tomatoes those are. And hopefully, we'll have a beautiful, beautiful display of fruit and flowers this season. <laughs> 